Okay, Dante, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do one and two and three and four and on the on the floor, Tom. With your foot on the bass drum, you're gonna do the one and the three, and then with the snare drum, what are you gonna do? Um, two and four. Two and the four. Go nice and slow and try to work it out, at least so you can know what to practice when you get home. Good. Go nice and slow though. So you want to go like one and two and three, even slower. Okay. Four. The whole point is not to speed up while you're doing it because you want to make sure that you, you're you trying to work out this t really tough coordination between your foot and your hand. So you want to make sure that you pull it back um, in order to, to get it nice and slow and so you understand what you're doing, okay? okay. Try it one more time. You're getting there. And two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Excellent. And then the, that's the way. So then the next thing that you're gonna wanna try to do and practice at home is to keep your bass drum foot down, not to lift it back up. Because every time you lift your bass drum foot back up, you, you throw yourself into a little bit of a, like, um, away from the beat. All of a sudden, it's like your, your foot's off the ground. So you want to make sure your foot is down on the one and the three, and never up off the ground. Excellent.